I am sand dollar fossil hunting in California. I can't tell you where because in the Beachcomber Code, we don't share beaches of any kind at any time. So I, um, this is an incredible setting. I'm standing below a very large cliff and, uh, and already have heard stuff falling from the cliff near me. So it's kind of a sketchy situation, but I figure if I got hit in the head by something heavy while searching for sand dollar fossils, that would be sort of a not surprising way for me to go. Um, but there is this incredible fossil shell material. And I just got out of a rental car on my way to visit a sea glass festival and I didn't have any beach coming back. So I had to dump a bunch of jewelry actually out of a bag to use this. So I have found some incredible fossils so far, um, but I have not found a sand dollar fossil. I had a friend who will also remain nameless because then, you know, she doesn't want to give up beach locations either. Help me on how to look for the sand dollar fossils. But all of the material here is fossil material. And you can see, this is just absolutely incredible, the landscape of this beach and the material at this setting in California. It's just fossils everywhere. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Everywhere you look is just fossil material. And it's truly an incredible sight. These rocks filled with fossils are absolutely amazing. And uh, I, I'm so fascinated by the whole thing. I would really like to find a sand dollar fossil, but they apparently are kind of hard to spot. So I'm just kind of looking around for one, but I don't have the experience in hunting them to find one. But for now, I'm just so interested to see what the material looks like. It's so different from what I see on the East Coast that, you know, I'm just, I just love looking at, at the stuff, how cool it is. Oh my God. You just look and you wonder, this millions of years old, these sea creatures eroding out of this cliff. And it, it's just unbelievable. I want to, you know, take samples back to the museum where I'm the executive director at the Beachcombing Center. But I'm trying to just take smaller samples like this that I can put in a display because I can't haul back, <laughs> you know, large, large samples. But I'm so fascinated by it. I mean, it is just such an incredible, unique experience to be here and see this just incredibly cool the fossilized shell material it's everywhere and there's tons of it and man what i would love to find one sand dollar fossil <laughs> um i don't know how long it would take me to look for one and also i don't know if i would spot one because i don't know how to look for them but i just thought i would share this video and show kind of what it looks like in this in this uh in this area to see it. It's just unbelievable. It goes on forever. So that's what we're looking at in California.